you can head up from the north there, but there's no, really no point. I'll show you in a second. Uh, you can head north over the little bone tail. So let's go the way we're actually supposed to go, past the badger, whatever the hell that is. Yeah, if you head north uh, across that little bone thing, uh, there will be another screen. But we're going to bypass that for now because we can see where we would end up from this next screen. There is where you'll end up. That's a Thundaga draw point, which I am full on and have been full on for a long time. Is that a snake on the right? So before this was all bones, that is clearly a full, a full on snake. Can I do anything here? Probably not. I could probably have jumped off the cliff from the meteor drop point. Either way though, uh, we're just going to head to the left here. And the hell is that? we're gonna move on to boss time. We are up against a clearly undead enemy. This is Abaddon! I recognize you from your card. I'm a big fan of your work. Uh, this guy is an undead monster. Use recovery related magic and items. So, uh, like he said, God, Selfie is slow. She's the one that I want to use to mug. Uh, I don't really care too much about uh, getting what he has, though, so I'm just going to, to, to normally attack as if... I didn't care about what he had on him. Although I do kind of care. Uh, we will have you use a remedy on Leo there. It looks like he has been hit with, with zombification. So we will heal that. Uh, Abaddon, like he said, is an undead enemy. They did finally fix the Phoenix Down trick, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, Phoenix Downs do not work uh, for any undead enemies in this game. Uh, however, they still didn't fix it for X potions and elixirs. So feel free to use those all damn day. Yeah, I missed that one. I was too focused on the, the remedy thing. Uh, also, if you have learned recover, that works wonders on them as well, as does Kiraga. It's an undead enemy. If you're struggling with it, just, just use an item that takes away exactly all of his health. Uh, should he be high enough level, he will have uh, Flare, but he, he's not going to be high enough level for that. Uh, that starts at level 30. If you really want to, you can draw it off of him, uh, but Flare will become more common later, as you might expect. I completely missed that one. That one was all me, but down goes Abaddon anyway. He is not a tough enemy, even without uh, using the items to heal him, which kill him. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, Phoenix Downs have been finally fixed, but X Potions ha have not. And he flat out tells you to do it, which is kind of weird for... Let's go with still the beginning of Disc 3? He introduces us to this concept? Either way, that, that is done. We get 10 Flare Stones as a result of that. I could have stolen the Power Wrist uh, from Abaddon, but I'm not too concerned with that. Uh, hey, I learned something. We will move on, though. Yeah, the power wrist, not necessarily something that I need to go out of my way to get. So, I'm just going to move on. You, you guys see that? You see? I'm not the only one, right? What? There's something here. That's weird! Is that a tunnel or something? This looks like the only way. Okay, so up we go! into a tunnel that can only lead to bad things. Holy crap. Am I in Midgar? The music sounds similar. It's got a similar motif to it here. But along the way, I can find this little panel here. What are these transparent panels? I wonder if they have anything to do with the console. All right, let's try operating it. Always press the button. Don't mind, you know, the unconscious body on my back. It's completely on the up and up. OCS display test menu. Let's do the color check. Ah, yes. What in the world? I think it's thinking about something, although it's not spinning, so it might be frozen. Right, let's do camouflage. Camouflage. 
And now it's the sky. Ooh, nice sky. So they have these panels that disguise where the city is. Are there any guesses where the city is? They've kind of been giving away the whole time though. It's Esther. How is that random? No, I, I demanded random. And now you're just showing me the two things that we saw already. That is not random at all. Can, can, I, can I stop this now? You're just showing me the same two things. Anything? Can I do anything here? Alright, we're, we're done here. Random was not nearly what I wanted. Why do I need to hit a button to exit? Oh, that's why. They lined a bunch of these panels and made it look like nothing was there. But why? What's the point of all this? I don't know either. I'm sure we'll find out soon. Sure. Selfie, you're kind of you're kind of inside Marie in there. All right, we will move on though. We have found out something. We have found out at least why nobody can find Esther, as if you can lose one of like the four places in the whole world. One of the four major places, at least. It's like Galbadia. It's like the gardens. Esther. And, like, Dalit? Like, there's really... I'm really stretching for Dalit, really. It's it's really just SR and Galbania. That's still just it. They are the two superpowers in this world. Everybody else is just kind of hanging out on the sidelines, it seems like. Jeez, where's this thing taking us? Thank God I got to put Maria down for a second. <laughs> this is totally weird. You don't say. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if we'll ever get to Esther. You know, you said that you changed, Leo, but you're still doing the soliloquies all the damn time. But I don't care. I'm not turning back now. Hey, that is something that he would not have said before. I will grant him that. Wait, no, no, no. All right, we will pick her up again. No, can't even do that. It's just, like, can I jump off the elevator? Is that what you want me to do? Oh, I just need to wait around a bit. It stopped. Is that it? So, like, is this where we get off? Yes. It is. Leo, now what? What do you mean the, the door opened at the end of the elevator ride? What do you mean now what? We go through the door. I don't care at this point. Nothing's going to surprise me. I think you'd be a little shocked about that, actually. What else? Let's go. And we continue on. Well, you look at that. That's what I've been wondering. This is a hugely technologically advanced city. How the hell are they equal with Galbadia? Wow, pretty. Is that all you got to say? safe and sound because there's no thing as, as air resistance or wind resistance in Esther. Judging from their technology, they must know we're here. You think? Judging from their technology, they own the world. It's possible we might encounter some hostility, so stay alert. What, what are we going to do that they're not going to be able to counter here? Ah, uh, no, not now. This isn't good. And it is back to... Wait, what the hell? 
Like, what's the point of... <sighs> Whatever. Uh, you go with Ward, you go with Kiros. I don't think it, it, it really even matters. Alright, there, and then I can't... Yeah, I can't junction. Okay, hopefully that works out well. Probably won't, I'll have to rejunction anyway. But we're going back to the past! We're gonna go visit Laguna, Warden, Q where the hell are you guys? The skinny one and the fat one. Get your asses down to Lunatic Pandora. You're gonna stay here and work. The rest of you get back to work. What? You stay here and work. The rest of you work. Thank you for splitting us up. Why, why did you need to separate and, and Laguna's by himself? So what's going to happen to poor Laguna here in what appears to be a prison of some sort? You'll have to find out next time. That is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I've been Baller Scoob. I've been joined, as always, by my stuck-in-prison, yet again, squad of Laguna. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.